Hi, I'm Dr. Kok Chin Yong, consultant neurologist from Sunway Medical Center Velocity, Kuala Lumpur. Recent literature review, analyzing all the available data, has shown that RTMS has a significant positive effect by achieving a level 1 evidence in improving arm paralysis or weakness due to stroke. Studies also shows that RTMS could improve speech dysfunction and swallowing difficulty as well as poor awareness on one side of the body that could develop after stroke. Utility of RTMS is not only limited in improving post-stroke symptoms. RTMS has also shown effectiveness in reducing pain in patients with chronic neuropathic pain such as trigeminal neuralgia. Well, not only that, in fact, RTMS has been used extensively in treating patients with major depressive disorder, which also gained FDA approval for that indication. During the procedure, we will identify the exact location and the threshold to apply the magnetic stimulation. For instance, in order to improve the arm function, we will identify this location over here. However, we must bear in mind that this location varies among patients. We then use a plastic coated coil and place it over the scalp. The coil will generate brief magnetic pulses that can go through the skull in order to induce current in the brain. People often say that TMS feels like a tap on the side of the head. There is no needle and no medication involved in this procedure. The treatment regime, however, involves daily sessions up to 30 minutes each session, usually five times a week for two to six weeks, depending on indication. In short, early rehabilitation is always key to maximize recovery after stroke. RTMS can play part of the role by means of neuromodulation in optimizing stroke recovery alongside conventional therapy. With that, I thank you. Bye-bye.